Good morning. This morning I'm going to show you how to use the change axis tool to correct the bounding box to get so that it produces the correct uh, cut list uh, dimensions. First thing you need to do, and I'm going by the way, I'm going to use two examples. One is this valley rafter, which I showed you in the text, and the other is the shaker round stand leg that I also showed you in the text. So it's very simple. Use the select tool, choose the part you want to correct, right click, choose change axis, and a three red, green, and blue uh, cursor, axis cursor will appear. First thing you need to do is choose a point to click on, some convenient point. I'm going to start here on that point. Now I'm going to go out along the bottom edge of this component. And notice it says I'm on edge in the component. So I click once. Now I'm going to go back along the green. And it says perpendicular to edge. That's what I want. Once I've done that, notice I now have a correct bounding box. And it's that simple. This is the shaker round stand leg. And I chose a configuration of the leg where the bounding box is more severe than the one I showed you in the text. Notice it's a cube. And correcting this is just as easy. Again, I use the select tool. Select the part. But this time, I gotta be careful a little bit. I wanna use the change axis tool, so I right click, choose change axis. I'm going to come down along this edge and I'm going to choose the middle of it right there. I'm going to come up along here and choose the middle here. Now it's important that I choose the middle here. If I choose this point or this point or some other point, I won't get the correct thickness. So I'll choose the middle point to middle point. Now I want to go out along this edge because I know that will be perpendicular to the axis I just drew. So I go out along the edge, parallel to edge, and click. And now I've got my bounding box. It's always important to check the bounding box. I have a little tool here called Get Component Dimensions. That I, It's a script I wrote. And I can easily choose it, select a component, and then look down here to see what the thickness, length, and uh, width are. Notice the thickness is 5 eighths of an inch, exactly what it should be. The width is 3 and 57 64 and the length is 11 and 9 30 seconds. So now I have the correct bounding box. So that's it. Correcting the bounding box is as simple as that. You should look at all of your components once you've finished a model, or as you're going along uh, creating a model, look at all of your components and make sure all of them have bounding boxes that make sense to you, that give you grain direction. For instance, in this case, the grain direction will be like this. It will be basically along the length of the leg in all places. If the grain direction were like this, this part of the leg would be weak. If the grain direction were like this, this part of the leg would be weak. Here we've got a compromise, and basically the whole leg has grain in the lengthwise direction, making it fairly strong. So be careful and examine your components. Make sure you have the correct bounding box. Then the tools will produce a correct cut list for you. Okay, have a good day.